Yes, that really is me on Halloween in a vampire costume. But it did sort of get me thinking. Two things, really. One, I absolutely hate portrait mode and it should be banned. And I think landscape mode is definitely the win. But secondly, I wasn't really keen on my sound and I thought something's got to change. And that is really the reason for this video. So today is Wednesday and today is Confusion of Read Day. Um, this is my normal uh, read that I have been using for some time now, actually. Um, it's uh, Leger Auto Signature. Um, and as you can see, my little problem, uh, you might be able to see on the camera there, is, apart from it's really dirty, is it has a little crack. Um, to be fair, it's not totally noticeable when I play. But currently, I'm just not really happy with uh, my sound. Um, I'm not not really not really digging it. Um, so uh, somebody recommended to me uh, these. Uh, so going back to wooden reeds, um, I'm not not really liking these either, to be honest. Um, I think a uh, little bit too resistive for my liking. Um, obviously, some people love them, and that and that's fine. Same with the Leger reeds. Um, I have loved them for for some time. Uh, but I'm I'm really wanting a change. Um, I'm really wanting something um, that is slightly slightly more free blowing than the wooden one, but um, but but less free blowing than than this one. Um, but also, I'm a bit of a crossroads because I I do also want to change my mouthpiece. Uh, this mouthpiece I've used for God a long time and it needs a lot of cleaning. Um, so this you can't really see, but it's a Vandoran A35. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, 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 not, uh, it's, not, it's not really me anymore. Um, but the problem is, is I can't really figure out uh, what, what I'm actually going for. Um, so that's uh, my, my job today. Figuring out what reads to order. I'm going to order a few um, and then work from there, really. So this is where I currently am. Uh, I'm on sax.co.uk, as you can see, and many, many other tabs. <laughs> uh, I think this really is the symbol of uh, complete chaos right there. Um, but I've basically have been just uh, having a look at uh, what reads are, uh, are available, really. Um, I've got one in my basket so far, um, and uh, it's another uh, Jazz Select, uh, but I've decided to go for a, a 2H, uh, too hard, um, in the hope that that uh, is maybe something uh, of more what I'm after, um, but I'm also, uh, I'm also having a look at what else there is. Okay, so here we are. I have uh, decided on uh, two shopping baskets um, with a various selection of things uh, to add based on my playing. I uh, played on my own, but also my friend came around and uh, we uh, played on each of the setups. Um, so it uh, clarified a few things to me. Um, so I've got uh, the 2H, I've gone with that, um, and uh, this one as well, Lavoz. Uh, Alto Sax Reed uh, Medium. Um, I've never played on either of those two reads, uh, but based on uh, what I played and uh, decided what I wanted, I thought maybe I should go for those. But not only that, I've also gone for Reads Direct. Um, I've gone for this Rejuvenate Reed Holder um, because I'm getting all wooden reads um, and I'd like something to keep it wet. I've also gone for um, a Rico Royal Alto Sax Reed Strength 3 10, mainly because um, my friend came around and I played her Rico Royal reads, there were strength three, and I was like, these are really good, um, so I'm going to get a box of ten. Uh, so I've got a lot to, uh, to choose from and to play with, so, uh, so that'll be good. Three days later. Okay, so everything that I've ordered has come. I've got my uh, Reed Juvenate, which is here. Um, and I've also got my two reads that I've ordered uh, from sax.co.uk. That's the Diodario, that's how I pronounce it. Other people might pronounce it differently. Wouldn't surprise me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I've got the Diodario Jazz Select 2H and the uh, Lavoz, uh, also might be pronouncing that wrong as well. That's a medium. Um, and then I've got the uh, Rico Royals um, and that's three. Interestingly, I didn't realise this, but all of them 
um, are made by the same company. Uh, so it made me question, are they actually the same read, but with just different labels on uh, to make it seem like uh, they're all different reads? Um, I could be completely wrong there, and I really hope I am, because you do end up paying quite a lot. Um, I've already, though, got my Rejuvenate open and tested. Um, I've got some Listerine, uh, which we're about to go on to and talk about that in a second. Um, I've had those and these soaking for uh, 24 hours in this, so we're going to test what they're like. Um, now, I didn't read the instructions of the Rejuvenate properly, um, and it actually specified that I have Listerine uh, cool, uh, Listerine Original, uh, I got Listerine Cool Mint. Um, now, I don't know whether this is going to make a difference or not. Uh, it would be interesting to see uh, the responsiveness of reads with the original compared to the Cool Mint, uh, but we'll probably leave that one for another time. Uh, but now it's on to, to test to see which read of the three is better. <laughs> Okay, so quite interesting really. I do think that uh, all four stood out and sounded different in various ways. Uh, the uh, first one was uh, the plastic reed, the one that I'm normally playing. Uh, it has got a crack on it. Um, now you could hear that was very quite loud, very bright. Um, it really doesn't have much resistance at all with it. Uh, whereas the other three as they're wooden, they, they do. I think, to be honest, my least favourite was the, the Rico, um, the Rico Royal, which is awkward because I bought 10 of them. Uh, it just felt quite difficult, uh, quite low down. I struggled to uh, articulate quickly uh, without getting a airy feel. Um, not a fan. Uh, I think my second favourite was uh, the, um, the Jazz Select. Um, that was quite good. Um, although I felt like, again, I struggled in certain areas. I felt that the, the, the best one of all, th all three wooden ones uh, was without doubt the Voz. I just felt like I had more uh, equalness in playing throughout the range. Um, and there was no, not really too many issues. Uh, I should say, as a word of warning, all three wooden reeds aren't really broken in yet. Uh, but if you were say, to say to me, oh, which read should I get, Callum? I mean, it definitely, uh, it, it's definitely about personal choice um, and preference. I think everyone would differ. Uh, but to be honest, I think that anyone would be quite happy with these. And I know that I've just said that I least preferred this one, but you've got to bear in mind that probably all of these reads in this box are ever so slightly different. Uh, and after some breaking in, I reckon that, you know, you're going to find that you're going to probably, hopefully, have about six of the ten reads that are going to be, you know, really good. Um, but, that being said, from what I've tested, uh, I, I think I'd also be quite happily, uh, happy to buy ten uh, of the Love Oz. <laughs> 